Now, before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online, also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. Hey guys, Sock here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I'm gonna share 10 crucial settings that you should enable on your Samsung Galaxy Note 10 or the Note 10 Plus right away. Now, if you do happen to own a Samsung Galaxy S10, S9, S8, you can also turn on these settings, but this video is specifically for the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 owners. So let's dive in and discover your phone. Now the very first thing I want you guys to understand is when you turn off your phone using the side key right over here, uh, there is a slight problem. So if I turn the phone off right now, if I double tap on the screen, the phone wasn't actually locked even though it does have a pin number. So what I'm gonna show you guys right now is to fix this because right now by default, this might have been disabled. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to the settings, you wanna go into the lock screen, and then you wanna go to secure lock settings. You tap on that one, all right? Then you put your pin number in, and what you wanna make sure is this option right here, lock instantly with side key is in fact enabled. Like, like I said, again, if I turn off the phone using the side key over here, and if I double tap on the screen, the phone is still in fact unlocked, and it does stay unlocked for up to 15 seconds based on the setting that you have right over here. But if you had this option enabled right over here, now you're fully secured. So when you turn off your phone, okay, and you double tap, it goes straight into the actual uh, login screen. You do have to authenticate yourself. Now that's number one. Number two, make sure you also tap on this one and the lock automatically feature is set to auto immediately, all right? So even if the screen turns off by itself, which it does in 15, 30, or two minutes, whatever setting you have, uh, when the screen shuts off automatically, the phone also gets locked automatically. If you, don't, if you have by default, it's, I think it's at five seconds or 15 seconds, uh, your phone is not secure. It's, it's unlocked even after screen turns off uh, for a couple seconds, wherein somebody can make a quick move on you. So make sure these two options right here are in fact enabled. And also make sure this option here, lock network and security options is also enabled. So when the screen is locked, again, just like that, nobody can go here and make modifications to your Wi-Fi from here. If they try to do it, it's gonna request that you enter your PIN number or uh, put your actual biometric authentication in there. So make sure these three options are enabled uh, to be fully secure. Now let's move on and talk about other feature. Now I do wanna give you guys a quick bonus feature. This is not security related. It's not that crucial, but it's something you might be wondering. So when you tap this button right over here, you have four icons at the bottom. These are the suggested applications based on your usage. So the more you use an application, the more likely it's gonna show up at the bottom here. Now, some people don't like this option. What you can do is you can go back over here. You can tap on this button here. You can tap on settings and then simply disable suggested applications right from here. Now, when I tap on this button, the recents button, I'm not gonna see the suggested apps, and this window is gonna be more centered right over here because we have gotten rid of the space at the bottom, okay? Now for now, I'm preferring to have these guys, not a big deal, but if you don't want it, boom, it's gone, all right? Let's move on. Now the next thing has to do with your device management. I wanna make sure that your phone runs at optimum condition at all times. So again, go to the settings, scroll down to device care, tap on it, and from here, uh, first and foremost, what you can do is you can always optimize your phone manually by tapping this button. And as you can see, the phone is gonna do all these things to optimize your phone and give you a 100% score, okay? And then you can click done. Uh, what you can also do is you can set this to happen automatically every day at a given time, so you don't even have to worry about it, but your phone is fully optimized at all times. So if I tap on this button here, I can go into auto optimization, and what's gonna happen is I can pick a schedule here. I can pick any time of the day. I prefer to do it when I'm asleep, so I'm gonna click done, and also enable this option. This is gonna close up uh, apps to free up memory. Even though the phone has a lot of memory, it's always a good thing to do memory management, so the phone is clear and fully optimized. You can read this here to see exactly what it does, okay? But turn this on, 
set a time when you're not doing anything on your phone. Even if you were doing something on your phone, it's not a big deal, this one, okay? But just enable this so you don't have to do it manually. As a matter of fact, you'll probably forget about it, so it's nice to do it automatically. The next thing has to do with auto restart. Uh, on top of auto optimization, you wanna make sure that you auto restart your phone every now and then at least once or twice a week, again, to make sure it runs at maximum performance. So you wanna enable this and you wanna pick a bunch of days. So if you enable this, you can pick all seven days. You can do this every day, or if you want, you can pick two days a week. So I can pick, uh, let's pick sun, Saturday and Monday, okay? And then I pick a time, again, when I'm asleep, and what's gonna happen is every Monday and Saturday at 3 a.m., the phone is automatically gonna restart as long as these conditions are met and that's also gonna make sure your phone is running at maximum performance. Restarting your Android smartphone is very important for that maximum fresh performance. By the way, if you wanna access device care directly from your apps, you can tap on this button here. Now by default, this is hidden. If you tap on show icon on apps screen, you can come here and over here, you have the device care in your actual app drawer. So let me just locate the application and it's right over here. From here, when you tap this, goes directly into your actual device care. And again, if I go over here, uh, you can grab this and you can put this anywhere on the screen if you so desire for quick access. So that's great. Next up, tap on battery, okay? And then tap on the settings on the top, go into the settings and make sure adaptive batteries enabled make sure put unused applications to sleep is also enabled. So basically this is gonna extend your battery life. If you are not using applica application too much, it's gonna limit the battery usage for that particular application. And this one here is gonna put apps to sleep when they haven't been used for a while. So if there's an application you haven't used for a long time, it's still running in the background, it's gonna put it to sleep automatically. So that's great for battery management. If you tap on it, you do get some details. Uh, from the details, you can pick the day before the app gets put to sleep. So one day, two days, three days. I prefer to do it at one day. So if there's an application you haven't used all day, boom, it's going to sleep, all right? So that's a great application. All right, so next option I wanna talk about in the same section is optimize settings. Make sure it's enabled, go inside. And basically after midnight, these three settings are gonna turn on by default. The media volume is gonna be 46% maximum. The screen will turn off after 30 seconds of inactivity and it's gonna reduce the brightness for the phone after midnight. In case you use your phone, it's gonna be very light on the battery, okay? So again, after midnight, nobody uses their phone too much. So you wanna make sure the brightness is minimum. The screen timeout is 30 seconds because the more the screen is turned on, the more battery you're eating. So make sure this one is also enabled. Alrighty, now let's get out and move on to the next tactic. All right, so let's say you go to the website and you're trying to log into somewhere, uh, whether you're putting your email, of course, more importantly, your password. So when I try to put my password in here, as you can see, as I type the password, you can actually see uh, the individual letters I'm typing in. So A, S, D. So if somebody's watching the password field, they're able to see what you're typing in. You can disable the settings. All you do is you go to the settings, all right? You go to biometrics and security. And from here, you go into uh, other security settings right over here. And then you uh, disable make passwords visible. So you disable this. Now when I go back out into that uh, browser over here and try to log in and type in my password, as you can see, nothing is visible other than a star, all right? So that hides your actual wallpaper, which could be very useful because some people are always staring at your phone and you don't want to expose anything if you don't have to. We want a 100% seal on our privacy. Okay, so the next feature has to do with your uh, screen. So when you buy a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 or the Note 10 Plus, uh, from the box, you already have a pre-installed screen protector on the phone. If you haven't noticed that, uh, you'll see it. You can actually peel the screen protector off if you don't want it, but it's pre-installed. I did keep mine until it gets damaged and I can then put another one, okay? But there's one thing you do have to enable. Now, when you put a screen protector on your smartphone, uh, the touch sensitivity of the screen takes a little hit, okay? 
So what you can do is you can go to the settings and you can go into display. Uh, if you are having any trouble with any other screen protector as well, you scroll down and you simply increase the touch sensitivity so the screen is more responsive if you do have a problem with that, okay? I'm not having any problems with this pre-installed screen protector, but some aftermarket protectors do give you a hit on the actual touch sensitivity, so it feels more immersive when you have that enabled. But again, if you're not having any problem, don't turn it on, but if you are, then you can, all right? And of course, finally, make sure accidental touch protection is enabled as well. So basically, if you read this right here, protect your phone from accidental touches when it's in a dark place, such as a pocket or a bag. Now, if you don't have a screen protector and if you enable the touch sensitivity, it's not gonna be good because then, even if when the phone is in your pocket, it is going to actually, your pockets, fabric texture is going to touch the screen it's going to activate that so make sure you enable this only if you have a screen protector and also enable this just in case the phone doesn't do crazy stuff in your pocket all right and that brings us to the end of this video stay tuned for more crucial settings to turn on for your samsung galaxy note 10 for maximum protection maximum convenience and maximum performance if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. And for now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right?